All right, so the eight hour long maintenance just ended on global. We all got our stones. If you check your box, you should have gotten five stones for the maintenance and then 15 more stones for the Dokkan Now program for a total of 20 free dragon stones, which is pretty solid in my opinion. And there are also a few other pretty awesome new things that we learned from the data download that I want to talk to you guys about in today's video. So first things first, we have the announcement, the official announcement of the global first str super saiyan blue kaioken goku at least this dokkan event and uh, i can't freaking wait guys he looks absolutely amazing has some of the best art in the game some of the best super attack and active skill animations in the game and just based on the details that we know we don't really know exactly what his passive looks like right now but everything else just looks absolutely top tier he looks so damn strong and I feel like he's a shoe in for at least top three to top five TUR possibly after we find out about his passive and everything maybe maybe in the top two maybe he's the best TUR in the game now who knows who knows it's possible right he could be better than STR cooler I kind of doubt it but he definitely I feel like will challenge STR cooler for that top spot so uh, anyways I can't wait I don't want to hype him too much but um he looks amazing. He really does. So I'm going to spend a lot of stones on his banner, guys. Prepare for a lot of uh, videos and maybe even streams summoning for this guy. So it's going to be a uh, good time. Now, uh, aside from this Dokkan event, if you actually go over to the current Dokkan event for Super Saiyan Blue Kaken Goku, it actually reveals a few new Dokkan Awakenings that are also global first for a few characters that were really, really trashed before, but now are amazing. All right, here we go. So if you just go into the details, you scroll down. Oh, look look at that art, man. Look at that freaking art. <laughs> Dude, it, it <laughs> it's so nice. Okay. Anyways, let's move down here. Uh, are there any details I need to know? Nope. Okay. Oh, by the way, so this Goku is officially called uh, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku Kaioken. So there's a bracket Kaioken, which is important because he can be run with the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Easy A Goku now, right? Like, basically we already have a Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku, but he's not called Kaioken. So these two can be run on the same rotation, and it's just gonna be the dumbest rotation in, in the best way, you know what I mean? Like, it's just gonna do so much freaking damage. And also with the Goku's um, active skill Spirit Bomb, buffing the rotation, it's gonna make the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku hit even harder. And it's just gonna be crazy, man. It's gonna be an insane rotation, especially once the EZA actually comes to global. Right now, it's not that exciting, but once the EZA for the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku comes to global, running these two on the same rotation is just gonna be busted, man. Okay, moving on. Obviously, we have the awakening for the global first Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku. Guys, I am never gonna get tired of saying that. Anyways, uh, we now have the official details for his active skill, and it says active skill causes ultimate damage to enemy and raises allies attack by 30% for one turn, which I believe is almost as good as LRB Pan's active skill for the buff. I think she provides 33% attack. This guy provides 30% attack, so almost as good. But on top of that, he's also going to be doing a very, very good amount of damage with that Spirit Bomb. So it's kind of a combination of the LRB Pan support active skill, but also the super attack style active skill of LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku or LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, LR Gobros, so on and so forth. It's not going to hit as hard as those, but he's also making his rotation hit harder too. And considering how good his teams are going to be, that's going to make a big difference, guys. So going back to the double Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku rotation I was talking about, just imagine, man, both these guys going off. This guy with a Spirit Bomb, the EZA Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku just doing stupid amounts of damage already and then getting that 30% buff. It's going to be crazy, guys. I can't freaking wait to run that rotation. Ah, oh, man. Yo, this couldn't come sooner. This couldn't come sooner. And also, of course, the EZA for AGL Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku. Anyways, um, of course, there is a restriction on the skill because I feel like it's too good to not have a restriction. But I don't think it's too bad. It's, it's definitely not the best restriction, but it's not the worst either. It's somewhere in between AGL Gohan and like a you know, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So it says uh, conditions can be activated when HP is 59% or less, which is 
not too bad, with another three or more representatives of Universe 7 category allies on the team once only. So it's a character restriction or a teammate restriction, I guess, and also an HP restriction. 59%. Um, a little bit low, but not the worst we've seen, and also, uh, as far as the team goes, you do have to build it around him a little bit. If you're running a full representative Universe 7 team, then you're fine, right? But otherwise, you do have to build the team around him a little bit to get that active skill to work, but... Uh, I think it's worth it. Uh, like I said, I don't think it's the worst restriction we've ever seen. It's definitely better than AGL Gohan. Um, so yeah, there you go. And moving on now to some other new Global First Awakenings that we just learned about after the maintenance. So the first one is for the Fizz Super Saiyan Blue Goku. This guy was so trash pre-awakening, but now he is absolutely amazing so once he awakens his passive becomes attack and defense plus 20 percent per key sphere obtained which is already pretty damn solid but on top of that he also gets an additional attack and defense plus 10 percent if it is a fizz key sphere so for every fizz key sphere he obtains he gets 30 percent attack and defense but on top of that he also is an orb changer randomly changing key spheres of a certain type fizz excluded to fizz Sphere. So he's an orb changer for himself. He gets 30% attack and defense for every Fizz key sphere obtained. And uh, he's just insane now. That is that is a crazy, crazy passive. Think about it. A full board. A full board of Fizz orbs. I can't even calculate how much that is right now. So it's 30% per orb. There's 23 orbs. So that's 600, 660% attack and defense. Like I just did it. I'm proud of myself. 660. Wait, is that right? Uh, <laughs> yes, that's right. 660% attack and defense for a full board of Fizz Orbs, but on average, I think you can expect at least like 6 to 7 because he is an Orb Changer, right? So with 6, you're getting 240, no, 180%, man, my math is all over the place right now. 180% with 6, with 8, you're getting... Uh, 240% so man that's crazy that is just such a crazy insane passive and then if you move on to the tech super saiyan blue vegeta who's also getting an awakening very similar so just like the goku he gets attack and defense plus 20% per key sphere obtained plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% if it is a tech key sphere and then he randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to tech um, type, tech type key sphere so very similar except uh, tech and both these guys are just ridiculous now. They're both just amazing orb changers and nukers, and I'm so glad that they actually made them good. Because I think most people probably already have both these guys rainbowed or are very close, and uh, they were just useless before, man. I mean, no, they were useless. They weren't really... They really didn't have much utility before, but now they are actually just so damn good guys i'm so happy that these two got some respect uh that's great and then my boy bergamo bergamo is it's good now like <laughs> i can't believe those words are coming out of my mouth but this guy is actually ridiculous too so um once he awakens bergamo gets attack and defense plus 30 percent with each attack received up to 300 percent 300 percent and uh, has a rare chance of turning into giant form when HP is 80% or less. I'm guessing that the giant form transformation is going to be very similar to your standard great ape transformation. So just immortality for one or two turns and then uh, boosted stats. But uh, just look at that passive, guys. Look at that freaking passive. Attack and defense plus 30% with each attack received up to 300%. After 10 attacks, this guy has attack and defense plus 300%. Now I know it's gonna take a little while to get there, but just think about him on like the legendary Goku event or something like that. He's gonna get 10 attacks after a few rotations, right? And that's amazing, That that's crazy. I actually can't wait to run him on the legendary Goku event because I feel like he's gonna be pretty damn good there. Um, so, wow, that's... <sighs> Man, these these three these three are just so amazing. Like they're so good. I, I just I can't believe it. Um, yeah, he's amazing. He's amazing. He's amazing. And of course, the grand prize right here, the main event, is Super Saiyan Blue Kalkin Goku. <sighs> Man, please RNG gods. If there's anything, if there's any banner you want to shaft me on, just don't let it be this one. 
don't let it be this one. I don't care if after Kale and Khalifa come out, they get shafted on that one. I would rather have this guy than LR Kale and Khalifa. I'm gonna say it right now. I, honestly, like I'd rather have this guy. I know that it's gonna be a controversial statement, but uh, that's how I feel, man. That's how I feel. Maybe it's because LR Kale and Khalifa has been a thing for so long, and you know, we've seen people on JP use it for like. I don't know, over the last six plus months, and this guy is brand new, and that active skill, and the art, and everything, I just, I love it, I love it, I want this guy so bad, and I also already have these guys rainbowed, so expect showcases very soon for them, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it for today's video, guys, we got three new global exclusive, or global first, I mean, let me take that back, global first, uh, awakenings, I'm sure they'll come to JP at some point in the future, but probably not for a couple months, and then we also have the Super Saiyan Blue Kauken Goku, and uh, that's it, that's it. That's gonna do it for today's video, guys. I can't freaking wait for all this stuff to drop. As far as a release date, I still don't have an exact date, but I would assume that the banner will drop at least after uh, December 8th, because that's when the um, Trunks and Zamasu Dual Dokkan Fest banners and also the Step Up banner goes away, so expect the Kauken Goku to come right after or like maybe one or two days after but uh, around that time I think would make the most sense. I don't think they would drop it at the same time as the step up banner still going on and the dual Dokkan fest but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Like I said I don't have an exact date but I expect it to drop after December 8th. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video guys Hope you guys are excited for all this stuff coming to Christmas or coming to global Well, I'm for Christmas basically for the Christmas celebration and uh, definitely looks like Bandai learned from their mistakes last year from that whole hit miss fiasco we had and I think global players can definitely expect a very very good celebration coming up very soon So that's gonna do it guys Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it, I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.